What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to bring you guys a quick review and demonstration over Electric Piano by Audio Latry. I've done a couple reviews on two other piano plugins they dropped, Grand Piano XXL and Upright Piano. Uh, so I thought I might as well check this one out too since it just came out. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys, so I brought you to the website first. Uh, basically, electric piano is two separate pianos, so now it's two instead of one in the plugin. Um, basically, they say it's for urban styles such as hip hop, pop, chill out, lo fi, and jazz. I would agree it's definitely good for maybe some chill waves, some lo fi, and jazz. Um, it's two separate sampled electric pianos. Um, all you're gonna have to do is scroll down here, and then you're going to have to hit this free download button. Um, boom, this screen will pop up. Scroll down on your mouse. Um, and then right here where it says uh, name a fair price, y'all know the drill by now. You can either give them a donation or tap zero. I've already got it, uh, but I'll just go ahead and hit purchase again just to show you. Boom, and then I wanted to go to my email or to uh, let me know that they sent it to me. Um, stutter in there. Uh, y'all can crack jokes down below in the comments. Um, and then boom, you're gonna view content and you just download it from there. Once you download it, um, in order to get it to work in your DAW, what you're going to have to do is drag the folder into either your Steinberg or your VST folder and search for it in your DAW. Um, but with no further delay, let's go ahead and pop into FL Studio. So when you open up the plugin, it's gonna look like this. Um, the one difference between this and the other piano plugins that they have is that they don't have the key noise anymore. I kind of like that, man. Y'all need to bring that back, man. Just add another dial right here uh, for key noise, but they have panning in here now, so you can pan it from left to right. It's still got your ADS or your attack and your release. Um, it's got tremolo, which is basically your LFO. So you have uh, your def and your rate. Um, and then it's got expression, pitch, and pan. It's got filter down here. So it's got a low pass and a high pass. Um, then, you know, it's got your cut right there. It's got reverb and a volume. Um, I made a little sample beat. I'm definitely not gonna lie, it's not all the way mixed down. My computer crashed on me right when I mixed, or when I arranged it the first time, so I had to rearrange it. Uh, but I guess nobody wants to hear me cry, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this sample beat and then we'll get right into the pianos. All right, so that's the little beat I mixed down for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and mute everything else um, and so we can just listen to the piano plugin. Um, so with this plugin, um, I'm gonna say one thing up front. Um, it doesn't take a lot of CPU usage, but one thing that I noticed was that when I loaded up my R-verb and I put it on uh, that little brass, um, it was shooting the, the CPU meter up, so it wasn't playing well with my Waze plugins. Um, but you know, maybe it was just, maybe it's just my computer, I don't know. Um, so basically, the piano by itself um, sounds like this. So that was after I doctored it up a little bit, where I messed with a little bit of the LFO rate. I turned some reverb up, and I put a filter on there and cut it. Uh, so I'm going to play what it sounds like um, straight out the box. So this is what it's going to sound like straight out the box without no effects on there. So I'll let you hear it on a few other patterns before I start messing with the effects and play the other one.
so it's not a bad sounding um, electric piano. It does sound a little different, but you know, it doesn't sound bad. So here's it on another pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the other piano real quick. So this is what the other one sounds like. So I'm going to drop this down an octave just so you can hear what it sounds like. So we'll hop it back up um, and I'll play it on a few more patterns. So you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and mess with some of the effects, like put some more reverb on there and um, kind of put this cut on there for the filter so that you can kind of hear what it sounds like because you can get this piano to sound pretty lo-fi. Uh, so let's go ahead and start here and it's already on expression for us. Um, so I'm gonna turn this up a little bit um, and turn my depth and my rate up a little bit. So it's pretty fire. We'll go back to the first one and mess with that too, just a little bit so you can hear it. So that's the plugin in a nutshell. In my personal opinion, I don't think that it's a bad electric piano. It definitely can give your beat a different feel than your typical electric piano, that's for sure. And again, you know, the price is lovely. You can't beat it, it's free. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.